Hey there you great people. Hopefully you've all been safe and well out there. Um, I'd just like to give a quick mention to Connie Thompson whose birthday it was the, in Minnesota on last Friday the 13th of January. Uh, so happy birthday to you. Also a really quick shout out to my dad who as you know if you watched my last video I bought an SD card. The SD card didn't work. It went faulty. My dad literally picked up the SD card he stayed or dropped it through his letterbox. Um, and then earlier on, well, still yesterday, um, he brought me a new SD card back. He went to the store, got the old one back in with a receipt, got an exchange for a brand new SD card. And that's why I'm able to bring you some content now. So thank you so much. I'd also like to say um, to Rory, Beth, Connie, Wiley, or even Andrew at Mini31. Rory's obviously carrying 31 YouTube channel. I've been looking at the Pine Martin uh, Mountain, sorry, store, uh, just down the road from you. Uh, look at the price lists and all that for whiskey, for everything. Um, what else they sell there? And did they sell tobacco? I'm just interested because that's going to be our closest store for quite a long time. Um, do they sell tobacco or anything else? All other stuff, let me know what else they sell and then spirits and beer and whatever else, yeah. Be interested in that, yeah. So I'm bringing you a reaction video to Vice News again, which is awesome. Great channel. I think we've got about 8 million subscribers, I'm sure. So I'm lucky to be able to subscribe to this. The video is called What Deadly Heat Waves uh, Mean for the Homeless. So I bet it's awful in most cases, because in most of America you've got air conditioning cars, in your houses, in shops and everything else. The homeless people can't get out of the heat, so... Pretty, really difficult for them, and probably a lot of people die because of the heat in America, like they're homeless because you can't get out of it. Let's enjoy the video, eh? Let's have a look. Never watched this, by the way, before. This is straight off the bat, brand new. Let me pull that down. This heat, man, it's not good. Obviously, this is in California. This is filmed. 119 I'm Fahrenheit. Not. How? That's hot. We're close to that in England. Um, Back in about August, we're you know, about one fifteen. It's about hard. two weeks, three weeks. It's hard for anybody, but a homeless person is even harder for them because Away. they have less resources. That's what it's all about. I've been in Sacramento for eleven years. I've been in house for five years. Dante Williams is one of tens of thousands of people living on the street during extreme heat waves in the western U.S. On house for homeless year, for five years. Dozens of all-time heat records have already been broken. Shit. During the heat waves. It can probably get 120 degrees in this tent or hotter. The heat tends to make people very tired and so you get very sleepy and then you're perspiring and it's just... It's oh, very wow, yeah. I don't know about sleeping tents, even we've had like 80, 90 Fahrenheit, that's hot in this country. It's not hot, but it's pretty hot in the summer, yeah? Now, I've been on my fishing trips where I've been in tents, obviously doing three, four day fishing sessions on the bank of the lake. My tent's set up, my rods are set up in the water, you know, on lakes, fishing for carp and uh, other freshwater fish in this country. In the tent, it's probably another 10, 20 degrees above, like what it is actually outside. So when it showed 119 uh, Fahrenheit there on that thermometer, that big thermometer uh, on the billboard, wow, 119 down on that billboard is probably about, it's probably about 140 in his tent, wow. It holds heat in there, especially when it's zipped up, it's mad. Uncomfortable, I'm trying to organize the waters, see what I need, if I need ice. And the water will be red hot, it's hard to I'm drink. I'm gonna go through probably all three of these within the next couple hours. It's gonna get hotter. So water is definitely going to be a necessity. For sure, yeah. And like Michael and the goodness some right people now, said before. The first round of water to them. Michael's said before that the water, that right, drink of water brings your body temperature down. Water. Which is true. Hey, or in the cold it brings it up. How you doing, hot, hot. Water, step out, step out. I'm gonna head out water. Hey Dante, do you guys cook here? Cook? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I got, I got. Okay, these boxes right here, they got uh, uh, food perishables in them. So. Let me pause this a minute. Kevin Brother Carter co-founded the Sacramento Poor People's Campaign. 
maybe I can look if he's got a channel separate from Vice, uh, Vice News, what I'm reacting to here, and maybe connect up with him and do some reaction videos to his content, maybe. Or maybe even like a it's California, isn't it? So maybe I'll think I'm going to come to America this year, maybe even like hook up with him. But California's quite a long way over that way, isn't it? On the uh, West Coast from Arizona. I'm just thinking that's all. Just help most people I can while I'm in America. Works closely with Sacramento's unhoused community and gets most of its money from donations. This is the worst, the tragedy of it, because there is no shade around here, and they try to make the best of it with their tits. It's they quite a nice setup. What they have. Okay, there you go. Have a blessed day. Stay cool, all right? Yeah, be blessed. Be thankful for all you have, and these people out on the streets are amazing. Wow. One thing you have water. Ice. It's another thing when you can have ice. The ice ain't gonna life, last life long though. Like, like a bug infestation. I don't know how else to put it. Patricia Holden. But then there are also those people like this man here to keep us reminded we're humans, just as human as anybody else. Uh, my check, everyone in the encampment. Everyone in the encampment, can I have your attention? There's someone here to invite you guys over to the cooling center. During this heat wave, Sacramento opened three cooling centers to serve the thousands of people without housing or any access to air conditioning. But getting to the centers can be problematic. Many if they were to open a cooling center around here, I would go to it. But other than that, I'm not going to go all the way downtown just to go to a cooling center. Would you like to go, ma'am? Oh, no, I'm okay. I got my dog too. Oh, you got your dog? Yeah, yeah we do not, sorry, no we do not take pets. Okay. okay. That's the only thing. If, the, if they are not willing to go, we cannot force them, but we are there for anyone who comes. Today, we haven't had any come in yet because they usually come. And these people, by the way, on the streets here, she's from Evangelist Church. I think he is as well, the other guy, yeah. The great people doing a great job, but you can't force people to do what they don't want to do. You're often going to a cooling centre. I've never heard of that thing in my life, but I'm guessing it's a place where it's going to be air-conditioned, probably feed them some meals, you know, like a charity organisation funded by, not by the government, US government or state authority, but funded through donations, I'm guessing. Later in the evening, when it's really gets hot, yesterday we had six people there. You see, that's that's the that's the hardest thing that they don't want to give up. You know their their space. I hate to see that van leaving empty. Why well, no one's stay gone? Stay cool, stay safe. To the cooling center? Yeah. Yeah, come on. Yeah, jump in, hop in. Heat he is very dangerous. So you'll be the first person who can take to the cooling center. Not just dangerous, but it's traumatizing. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, the people that are out here, they grow into, you know, um, getting used to it. How long have you been in the encampment? Normal life. Four months. Four months? Okay. Why? And that's the way a lot of them think because they've been let down so much. Are you a veteran? Uh -huh. Oh no. You know, from the people in leadership and they I'm guessing by veteran he means a uh, veteran, whatever you want to call it. I'm guessing he means a veteran of the armed forces. He's served a long time in the US armed forces, whether it's the Marines and Navy SEALs or the Army or whatever. Um, or the Air Force even, sorry. That's mad. And he's on the streets. Maybe our countries, like even England, should put these armed forces veterans, yeah, that are homeless, before other people coming into our countries, I'm not being racist or anything else, but I'm just telling you the truth, yeah? Maybe. I failed them, so they're used to it. They've gotten used to the elements of it. You don't need to get used to that. It's not fun. It's sad. Being. You know, is it still it's disappointing? Yeah. It has to be more proactive than reactive uh, when these situations occur. True. This man speaks a lot of sense. Remember this in California. It makes you angry and bitter, you know, about, you know, those that are in charge that could do more for them. It's inhumane. 
governors, late lo uh, local state officials, the rest. Could do more, yeah, like he said. The video's ending anyway. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video anyway. Um, it's been a while since the device reaction video. Uh, it's been, well, what, two, three days, I think. And remember, please be thankful thankful for all you have please and go ahead and check out some of more of my great content to vice news and the rest of my channel uh great reaction videos content and playlists on this paul b hosten 85 if you're not already subscribed please do so and please do not obviously forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell thank you all so much and have a great day i love you all